Now let's get into this with you for a moment. September the 23rd is supposed to be a time when planets and stars align in the constellation Virgo and Leo. They say that it's never aligned like this before, except you have to go back for a long time, thousands of years. Therefore, they say September the 23rd is a good candidate for the date for the rapture. For the church is raptured out of this world, September the 23rd. Now let's hold on with the 23rd and let's go to this. Nibiru is called Planet X. Planet X has been around for a long time. Planet X is approaching Earth. One man just published a book, and in his book, his name's Mead, in his book he says that when this Nibiru gets close enough to planet Earth, that all kinds of physical manifestations are going to take place, and that it could literally destroy most of what you know as planet Earth, which of course would fit into the tribulation period. Listen carefully now. I just made this list this morning. The flooding in Texas is of biblical proportions. How many believe that? I've never seen anything like that in my lifetime. The strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic just left out, and Irma is going up the west coast of Florida. Back to back major hurricanes to hit the United States. Major hurricane, Cat 3 or above. Harvey down there in Texas and Irma going up Florida. Back to back major hurricane. Jose is right behind. The strongest earthquake in over a century has just hit Mexico, measuring over eight on the Richter scale, 8.3, somewhere in there. A total eclipse of the sun in North America, moving from the west coast all the way to the east coast. And it came right through this area nearby a Sweetwater and down in there where they had, they had totality, whatever they call it, where they were complete, the sun was completely covered by the moon. Amen. Then Saturday, February the 11th, 2017, a blood moon. Uh, August the 7th, 2017, another blood moon. Joel chapter number 2, verse 30 says this, I will show wonders in the heaven and in the earth, blood, fire, pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. We've always had earthquakes. We've always had floods. We've always had hurricanes. There's nothing new about a hurricane. There's nothing new about an earthquake. There's nothing new about any of this. But what is new is the concentration in a short period of time of all these things that I've been talking to you about. That is new. In my lifetime, I've been here 71 years this September. In my lifetime, I have never seen as many things come together with such profound, these are profound, these are big deals. Strongest earthquake, biggest flood and all that. I've never seen all that come together at one time like it has now. So what's that mean? I've always thought, personally, that there's got to be something special about the floods, the earthquakes, the blood, the fire, the blood moons, the, and the sun to darkness. There's got to be something special about all of that that differentiates it from everything else. And one of the things that may be special about it is that it all happens within a short period of time. It's concentrated. So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying it's time to start looking up. That's what I'm saying. It's time to start looking for the coming of the Lord. Well, is he coming September 20th? No, I don't know if he's coming 23rd. Nobody knows the day. No, I don't know that. I don't know. The, neither, neither do they know that. Nobody knows that. And there's a lot more that can be said about Planet X and about September the 23rd. I've done a good bit of reading this past week, but we don't have time to get into all of the stuff that's involved. There's a lot, of, there's a lot going on there. A lot, believe me. But here's what I'm trying to give out in a message this morning. To me, it looks like something's going on. 
It's not going to be business as usual. I believe we better start taking a, a, a second look. I mean, we better start really saying, now, wait a minute, Lord, maybe you are really trying to tell us something. And you know what? Wouldn't it be wonderful if this is it? <laughs> well, you sound like you want him to come back. Amen. <laughs> Wouldn't it? I mean, how do you get mad if the Lord came back? And... At the eclipse, brother. The eclipse. The eclipse, yes. It got pretty dark. It was odd. It really was. And the thought did go through my mind. The sun should be turned to darkness. And the moon to blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord. Let me, let me say this to you, folks. Now, September the 24th, we may all be here. Nothing happens. That's not going to disappoint me one bit. We're getting close, though. I just feel it. We're getting close. Are you ready? So how do I get ready? Dig me a hole in the ground and get a bunch of food and put it in there and all that. No, that's not how to get ready. <laughs> they call them preppers. There's nothing wrong with somebody being a prepper. That's fine. But that's not what's going to get you ready for the coming of the Lord. Amen. That's a spiritual thing. You need to be born again. Amen. Now, let me ask you an honest question, and I'll shut up. All these things I mentioned, I'm going to go through them again quickly. Flooding in biblical proportions. I've never seen water like I've seen in, in Texas. Strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic. Back-to-back -back major hurricanes to hit the U.S. Strongest earthquake in over a century to hit Mexico. A total eclipse of the sun in North America and the blood moons. The Lord's coming back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, that excites me. Amen. Amen. If he comes back, you're going to have to get yourself another pastor. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm finished. I'm done. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> It'll be sad if you're left around to try to get you another pastor. Amen. Hopefully you'll be leaving. Amen. Amen. Let's bow your head for a moment, Father. I pray, Lord, that you bless your holy word and as it goes forth. Father, I'm the messenger. I've done all I can do as a messenger, Lord. I've given, it, given out the word. Lord, get, let them get their eyes on thee now, Father, and forget me. I must decrease, and you must increase, my blessed, righteous name. For Jesus' sake I ask it, and amen. Let's stand up this morning.